You are listening to 90.3 KEXP, and we stream all over the world at kexp.org, and we broadcast live in Seattle 24 hours a day, seven days a week. My name is Troy Nelson, a very exciting day here at KEXP because we have this wonderful Icelandic artist who's also going to be playing our Reykjavik Calling Show tomorrow in the KEXP gathering space. How are you doing today, Arne Margaret? I'm doing good. Thank you so much for taking time to do this exclusive live performance for all of our listeners. It's so great to be here. Great to have you. And if you're ready, take it away. Thank you. Listening to Arony Margaret live here in the KEXP live room.
It was already dark Wish it was a dream
Oh, the trees are turning brown again Just like the little courage I had And that even the sleeve are left Well, this is as good as a gate Oh, I hoped to never be like you But I'm afraid that I listening to Aroni Margaret live here on KEXP Seattle. Arnie Margaret, live here, 90.3 KEXP Seattle. Once again, thank you so much for sharing your talent with all of us. Thank you for having me. Yes. Uh, beautiful uh, EP that you put out, Intertwined, and uh, also they only talk about the weather. We've been loving your music, and so uh, we just can't wait for even more. So thank you for sharing what you've got. Nice. Thank you. Yes. Uh, I have a few questions for you because obviously we've never met, and I just have been listening to your music and uh, reading up about you. And so I was just curious about a few things. Growing up in Iceland, I was wondering what some of your earliest memories of music was. 
like your earliest memories, whether it was nursery rhyme or something you heard on the radio, something, one of the first things that grabbed onto you? I think like, when I think of like first memory, I think it's like my mom singing lullabies. Mm -hmm. She did that a lot. And then when I started music myself, I was like six, starting to play the piano. I think those are, those are the ones. What, what, do you remember some of the first things you learned on piano? Classical something. <laughs> right. <laughs> but then once you uh, were given a guitar, yes. the piano went right out the window. Yeah, kind of. Mm -hmm. I was 14 when I got it, the guitar. I liked it a lot more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, not only is your, your voice incredible, but your uh, guitar playing is fantastic. I mean, I've been studying finger picking as many years as you've been alive, and I'm only <laughs> half as good as you. So it is very Thank impressive. You. Um, I love that. When I f uh, first became aware of you, I heard your version of the song In Tall Buildings. Oh, yes. And I was curious uh, if you can tell the listeners about Gregory Allen Is Isakov? Yes. Okay. And why you were drawn to his version of In Tall Buildings. I guess I just like his music. I think, like, he was the first like actual musician that I was like drawn to or like got inspired by. I think like when I got my guitar for the first time, it was because of him. Mm -hmm. And I, I listened a lot to his music and I liked it. And then I found that song and I loved it too. So <laughs> it's just like everything that he does, I love. Yeah. That's great. And you grew up in a pretty small town. Yes. Can you tell the listeners the, the uh, name of your town? It's called Isafjörðr. And how many people are we talking about? Around 3,000, I think. Wow. And is it true that the town is surrounded by mountains that block the sun a couple of months yes. every year? Yes. Really? It's just pretty dark? Yes. Completely dark? <laughs> <laughs> like, it doesn't go over top of the mountain, so it's just like, it's kind of dark, yes. Mm-hmm. It is. For a couple months. Yes, like three months, three, wow. four months. That's think, amazing. Yeah. It's But you get used to it. It's it's okay. <laughs> yeah. I guess. Oh, that's very interesting. Yeah. Um, I was also curious about the uh, recording studio that you've recorded a lot at. I read that it's Iceland's oldest yeah. recording studio, but yes, then I saw is. they said it's the oldest, but it was 1975. Yeah. Was, <laughs> I'm like, how old am I? Like, is that considered... I guess that's considered an old studio in Iceland. I guess so. That's pretty cool. Uh, what can you tell the listeners about that studio? What makes it so special? It's just nice. It's really nice. A lot of musicians have recorded there, and it's just a nice vibe, I guess. Mm -hmm. And speaking of uh, other artists that uh, you love, I had a, a small list of uh, some artists here, mm -hmm. and I wanted to read these names of some of these artists, and I would like to know what comes to your mind after you hear their name. And so I'll just mention a name, and then let me know uh, the first thing that comes to your mind. Uh, the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear the name Adrian Lenker. Ooh, it's like soft, I guess, soft music. And what is it about Adrian Lenker's music you love? I don't know. I get these like phases of when I listen to music. It's just like I listen to that music for a whole month and then I get bored of it and then I find something else. So like Adrian Lenker was like a long time and then I switched to someone else. <laughs> <laughs> I do that a lot. So yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll give But you another name. Uh, first thing that comes to your mind when you hear Aldous Harding. I love her. It's like weird, but super cool music. I love it. I don't know. I'd say that's a perfect description. Yes. I love her. She's yes. so herself, I mm -hmm. guess. It's so like, nice. It's uh, different and beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, what about the name Billy Martin? Chill. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I like it too. Mm -hmm. Chill music. Nice. I'll give you one more name. What about fellow Icelander, Oskir? Electronic, but still very down to earth, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a blend of both electronic and acoustic. It's, it's, a, cool, it's a cool blend. 
And Oscar is very popular. Yes, we actually, we work in the same studio. And we have the same co-producer. Mm-hmm. Have you met Oscar? Yes, of course. Mm-hmm. He, uh, he played a little bit of piano and synths on my album. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's wonderful. Yes. Well, once again, it was very nice to meet you. And thanks you for doing this. And also, uh, also Arnie's going to be playing uh, tomorrow in the KEXP gathering space for our Reki- Reykjavik Calling show. So you uh, flew all the way here to do this and to do that. And we yes. appreciate it deeply. Yay. And you'll come back? Hopefully. And you have an open invite, so. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Well, once again, you've been listening to Arani Margaret live here on 90.3 KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.